With the back and forth debate of who the GOAT is between John Jones and Khabib Nurmagomedov, Conor McGregor recently threw a jab at both fighters and claimed that he was the GOAT. He posted this on his Twitter saying, If these bums are GOATs, I'm the slaughterhouse. A three round heavyweight bout between Thiago Santos versus Alexander Rakic has been targeted for a UFC card on March 6th. Thiago Santos is coming off a submission loss to Glover Teixeira, and Alexander Rakic is coming off a unanimous decision win over Anthony Smith. A five round heavyweight fight between Alistair Overeem versus Alexander Volkov has been targeted for a UFC card on February 6th. Alistair Overeem is coming off a TKO win over Augusto Sakai, and Alexander Volkov is coming off a TKO win over Walt Harris. A three round middleweight fight between Kelvin Gastelum versus Ian Heinich has been targeted for a UFC card on January 3rd. Kelvin Gastelum is coming off a submission loss to Jack Hermanson, and Ian Heinich is coming off a TKO win over Gerald Beerschat. Gilbert Burns recently called out Nate Diaz for a grappling match. He posted this on his Twitter saying, So as my title fight is not scheduled yet, let's grapple. Let's see who is the real gangster at Nate Diaz 209. So I'll put $200,000 and you put $200,000. Winner takes all. At Charles Sonnen, at UFC Fight Pass, what you say? Yep. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Paul Felder and Paul Felder Sunday. Good luck, come on. Hey, man. Hey, man. Anthony Smith on Sirius XM says that Thiago Santos is not done after his loss to Glover Teixeira. Me and Thiago share a physical therapist and then like, you know, I talked to his manager, like he's healed 100%. You know, after you tear an ACL, LCL, MCL, and then they do all those surgeries and you do all the rehab, you know, any doctor will tell you that like your knee is now stronger than it was before. The problem is, is you never feel the same. It's not worse or, or any better, it's just different. The only way you can get comfortable doing that stuff again is to do it at fight speed. And that's kind of the John Jones effect, you know? Like, I think a similar thing happened to Dominic Reyes. I think that a lot of it's mental. And I think that Tiago just learned a lot of that. Like, I, you know, you talked a lot, I believe, about Reyes walking around like he was the uncrowned champion because everyone said, you know, that they thought he beat him. And a lot of people believe that Tiago won and he was walking around feeling like he won. And instead of coming back, finding an opponent that's a perfect match up for you to be able to get in there and fill yourself out and really get used to your new body in a live go situation you know training is one thing you can spar all you want it's never the same as it is when you're in there so i don't for a second think tiago santos is done i think that he yeah. needs to get comfortable again i think he needs to get you know his, <laughs> as funny as it sounds he needs to get he needs to get his legs under him a couple times in those fight situations and not against a guy who's as dangerous as glover like you got to be able to give yourself some room to fuck up and not be a fight ending situation because after the first round tiago santos was done. You can't have a guy like Glover to share on top of you for multiple minutes grinding and passing your guard and you really having no answer for it and expect to win when you're not a grappler. You know, like as hurt and as exhausted and as tired as I was, like Glover didn't slice through my like that. He wasn't getting to those kind of dominant positions as easily as he was. Like you got to sure that hole up, but you also have to give yourself a chance, you know, to coming off of an injury like that. So all my men and women in the armed forces serving the great USA, I don't think I had to tell you. I thought you guys already knew, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I love you guys so much. Proud to be an American. Proud of what you guys do. Thank you for your sacrifice. Happy Veterans Day. I know a lot of you are going through a tough time right now. The sun is setting every day, every evening, but don't forget, it rises every morning as well. Stay positive, my friends. That's one more lemonade from the tournament, that's one step towards a million dollars, and that's one more reason why Patricia Pitbull is pound for pound the best fighter in Bellator history. Give me the money. Show me the money, girl. What you make of Glover Teixeira and uh, what he was able to do against Thiago Santos, my man? I mean, I got to tell you, John, just blown away by this guy. And again, I I picked Santos to win. I thought I said I want Glover to win, but I got to pick Santos. I am blown away by the the amount of damage he can take 
look like he's out and still continue on with his game plan, to me is absolutely phenomenal for a guy 41 years old. You know what I mean? And again, he's a great guy. You know, one of the nicest guys you'll meet in MMA. But I, I got to tell you, man, I just couldn't believe it that he was able to implement his, implement his game plan against a very highly, you know, touted, you know, um, Santos, you know what I mean? It's crazy. I mean, it was just, I don't know, I was just blown away by, it. you know, the guy just gave John Jones fits with, with, with two bad right. taps, you know what I mean? And he couldn't keep this guy off him. Unbelievable. So, uh, it was interesting. The first thing he said in our post fight interview was that he might have broken a bone in his face. You know, those few times that Santos connected uh, in round one and obviously in round three appeared to do some damage. I haven't seen a medical update on Glover, but he didn't get out of it on skate necessarily. But I don't know, man. You win five in a row um, at this stage. I mean, nobody would have expected that he fought for the belt in 2014. Nobody would have expected that in 2020 he would be the number one contender. And as we sit here about to close the year, he's going to end the year as, as the division's number one contender. And Johnny earned it. He earned it against good guys. No doubt. And crazy. No doubt. Crazy what he's done. The guy 100% deserves the title shot. What a great story this is, too. A guy that, you know, got a late start because of all those visa problems he had. And now, you know, who would have known? Who would have? What would this guy have done if we would have seen him at 26 in the UFC? You know what right. I mean? We're seeing like an older guy who I think this is phenomenal, man. I really do. And it's different than, um, you know, even if you looked at Anderson after, you kind of felt bad for him. And, you know, he, he was having trouble breathing. This guy was very with it. You know, he made the statements about, look, I think I broke a bone, which I pr he probably didn't. But, Look, he's a warrior, and this guy's a fighter. This guy loves to fight. He's there for the right reason. I can't say enough. I, I, I was blown away by what he did, because in my head, I saw it going the exact, you know, like what happened to him when he got buckled yeah. at, at the beginning, and I thought that was going to be the whole fight. I didn't think he'd be able to really implement his game plan like that. And he, and he did, man, he did, because I think he's he loves fighting, and he's what he does, he does really good still. Let's go! Just like these guys always get people fighting. Okay, coach. Yes. My opinion. How much are we? How many days in your life are you wrestling? Never. Never. I think this guy will record. Push up, push up now. Let's go. I push up. You have to give me 50 push up. Let's go. <laughs>